Now that we've seen how to add fields to the location table, let's look at adding columns or fields to the other borehole data tables. Click on the iData tab within the Borehole Manager. Right-click on any of the title cells at the top of the iData table. A pop-up menu will appear from which you should select the Show Column Names dialog option. To add a new column, move the cursor below the last row. A new row will appear with an order number that is one larger than the row above it. When creating a new data type, you have the option to type in information about the expected range of values, the units, as well as a general description of the data type, but this information is not required. At this point, the new column has been added to the data table and you can start editing or importing new data into it.